We're going to move on now to last night's chaotic showdown in South Carolina. The Democratic debate was a free-for-all with frontrunner Bernie Sanders taking heat, Michael Bloomberg too, as Joe Biden staked his claim to the state. Mary Bruce was in Charleston for all the action. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, George. Well, this debate last night was the last best chance for the candidates to try and take each other on before the critical primary here on Saturday and before the race goes national next Tuesday. And you could sense the desperation on the stage last night. It was chaotic and feisty. The candidates taking every chance they could to try and stunt Bernie Sanders' momentum. Overnight, the candidates piling on the front runner. Bernie, in fact, hasn't passed much of anything. I do not think that this is the best person to lead the ticket. Progressives have got one shot, and we need to spend it with a leader who will get something done. I'm hearing my name mentioned a little bit tonight. <laughs> I, I wonder why. To... In a messy and combative fight, his rivals pounced on his policies. But Bernie Sanders stood firm behind his agenda. Do we think health care for all, Pete, is some kind of radical communist idea? Do well, we think talk, raising let's talk about the that. minimum wage I, to I, a I'm living to wage? The truth that is, named Pete, are the things that, that the American about. people well, the support you're talking about by agenda, is that, that is why I am beating standards. Trump in virtually every they poll do. that has done and why I will defeat him. Eager to stunt Sanders' momentum, Joe Biden with a bold declaration about Saturday's must-win primary. I intend to win South Carolina, and I will win the African-American vote here in South Okay. Biden took on Sanders' record on gun reform. If I'm elected and I'm coming for you and gun manufacturers, I'm going to take you on and I'm going to beat you. I'm the only one who's done it. The senator forced to defend himself. Because of all these disgusting and horrific mass shootings, the American people now understand that we must be aggressive on gun safety, not be dictated to by the NRA. And Biden ripped into Sanders for his recent praise of Cuban dictator Fidel Castro and his literacy program. This man said that, in fact, he thought it was he did not condemn what that they did. That is untrue, categorically untrue. Authoritarianism of any stripe is bad. But Period. that is different than saying that governments occasionally do things that are good. Look at what on. On. Pete Buttigieg with a warning. I am not looking forward to a scenario where it comes down to Donald Trump with his nostalgia for the social order of the 1950s and Bernie Sanders with a nostalgia for the revolutionary politics of the 1960s. Eager for a do-over, Michael Bloomberg tried to make light of his bruising first debate. I'm surprised they show up because I would have thought after I did such a good job in beating them last week that they'd be a little bit afraid to do that. Can I but he was still a top target. I don't care how much money Senate, uh, uh, Mayor Bloomberg has, the core of the, Repu of the Democratic Party will never trust him. In a blistering attack, Elizabeth Warren described being fired from her teaching job when she became pregnant at 21 and compared it to Bloomberg allegedly encouraging a pregnant employee to get an abortion. I didn't have a union to protect me and I didn't have any federal law on my side. So I packed up my stuff and I went home. At least I didn't have a boss who said to me, kill it. The way that I Mayor Bloomberg never alleged said that. have said okay. to one of oh, his on. pregnant employees. Bloomberg adamantly denies the allegation. I mm -hmm. Never said it. Period. End of story. Look. Categorically never said it. Bloomberg argued he's best positioned to help the party succeed, but raised eyebrows when he appeared to say he bought the Democratic majority. All of the new Democrats that came in and put Nancy Pelosi in charge and gave the Congress the ability to control this president, I, bought, I, I got them. He quickly corrected himself, but the slip doing nothing to quell critics who say he's trying to buy the race. Mayor Bloomberg has a solid and strong and enthusiastic base of support. Problem is they're all billionaires. And Joe Biden is now getting a big boost here this morning. Congressman Jim Clyburn has just announced he is endorsing his old friend. He is the leading Democratic voice here in this state and the closest thing they have to a kingmaker. George. Mary Bruce, thanks very much. Let's get more on this now from our chief White House correspondent, John Carl. And John, it was, as I said earlier, just a real free-for-all last night. You could see the focus on Bernie Sanders and, and all the opponents up there on the stage uh, basically know if he wins on Saturday in South Carolina, he's on a solid path to the nomination. Uh, no question about it, George. And you could see the other candidates acting as if they were running out of time. This was a chaotic, loud, 
bruising debate. Uh, Sanders came under fire in a way that he has never come under fire before. And for the first time, he actually seemed a little rattled, especially when the crowd started booing. But at the same time, George, it was such a free for all that nobody on that stage really stood out uh, as the primary alternative to Bernie Sanders. And it may actually have been, in a way, a good night for him because Elizabeth Warren once again uh, did him a favor by uh, relentlessly and in a nonstop way going after Michael Bloomberg. Yeah, now it's up to the voters in South Carolina on Saturday. Meantime, we did hear for the first time in one of these debates coronavirus uh, discussed. The president's been putting a lot of focus on that as well, tweeting all the way back on his plane from India. Yeah, first of all, it, it was odd that the coronavirus subject didn't come up until the debate was almost over. When it did, the Democrats uh, were actually united on this one, criticizing Donald Trump for, among other things, uh, proposing cuts to the funding of the CDC. Uh, but, George, the president tweeted uh, a, 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 on the way back saying, the CDC and my administration are doing a great job of handling coronavirus. That obviously is a statement that is at the very best uh, premature. Yeah, okay, John Carl, thanks very much. Of course, next what, Tuesday night, Super Tuesday, 16 contests, essentially a national primary. We're going to have special coverage here at ABC. I'll be anchoring with our political team starting at 8 Eastern. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.